Hey all, my name is Kurt and I'm here with Trenton. Welcome to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar in Trenton. I'm trumping you today. Today's the day. It doesn't happen often. It does not happen often. But today's the day I got one on Trenton. Well, who brought this home? But you know I've worked on that all year. You know <laughs> I know, that. I know. You brought it home. I get I know, that. I know. But I absolutely love the Four Roses, Lim Four Roses Limited Editions. I love them. I've had a few tastes of some, but the only bottle I've ever owned was the 2019. Yeah, right there. She's getting low. Yeah, yeah, she's getting down there a bit. And it's absolutely delicious. I absolutely love it. You know, I kind of, you know, I, I, all year long I've been kind of in Harry's ear about yeah, this one. I know you have. I say, you know what? You, you, Give Trenton all that other stuff. It's fine. You know, hey, go ahead. He always asks me first, hey, do you mind if I give this Trenton? Yeah, it's fine. It's okay. As long as you get the As the long as I get that. Roses, yeah. That's what I told him. As long as I get this one, you can give the boy the rest. It's fine. It's not a problem. So that's what we got. Thanks for bringing it home. But I'm really excited to taste this. Because this, the truly, these, these this limited edition is one of my absolute favorites. And just like the other bottle reviews we've done in the last couple weeks, MSRP, uh, 149 I think I paid. Right? 149 or 179 okay. It was something like that. And in our in our area, there were only three of these bottles. No way. Three of them. I didn't know. I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, Wise Guys got one bottle. Trail in and Triangle, the, the group, got mm -hmm. one. And Harry got one. I did not. I did not know that. So Harry was nice enough. Well, good thing to, I. Uh, good thing I said something yeah, all year long. Right. Sorry to be a pain, Harry. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you for helping us out with this one. This is this is special for me. This I is this will be the first one that I've ever tried. Now, you know me, Trent. I really don't sit down and research and look into and study limited, allocated bourbon releases. I know. You know, I don't know a whole lot about them. Tell you the truth. What is usually in this? Do you know? Do you know now what we have put, here? Now you're putting me on the spot. In the spot? And I apologize for that because I, I really don't even know. And, and you just brought this down here, so. And I'll say that Four Roses isn't is, isn't my bag as much as it is yours. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't really care much about the Four Roses limited releases. I've never really tried one. Yeah, and I like the the single barrels. I've gotten a couple from Jay store picks from like Jewel Osco and Vinny's mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And those are those are good. Yeah, but I actually haven't researched the mash bill or what these contain. I I think they're blended, but I, yeah, I could be wrong, probably. and I don't want to put my foot in my mouth. So I'll I'll do the research after the fact, and I'll put up the mash bill up here if I can find one. And if if it's just not available, I'll I'll leave it out. But. Uh, yeah, I don't know much about, it's about right. the four rows. I'm sure somebody will and put it in the comments for us. We appreciate that information if you have it. And right. I apologize. I, I, I didn't do any research before the show. And so I really don't know, you know, how many years or if it's a blend and what the blend is. And, and I like should have, the, but she just brought it down. So Four Roses has 10 different recipes. It confuses me because they're all, it's like OBSV, OBSK. I can never sure. remember like the K has a specific flavor profile and the B has a specific flavor, flavor profile. And I always get those confused. So it's just a little bit, to, well, to me, it's a little bit overwhelming to remember, to memorize all those and, and understand it. Tonight, the only thing you really need to remember is the Four Roses limited edition is OB Delicious. <laughs> okay. That's really all you got to remember. So I'll pour it for you. Yeah, please do. Yeah. I'm speechless after that <laughs> pun right there. Yes, sir. Wow. You went hefty there. Hey, you know what? I told you it was my favorite. No judgment. Oh. <laughs> there you go, buddy. What's the proof on this? I honestly, Trent, I... Yeah. You're just excited to get into it. I know. We know. didn't even... You know, you just brought it down here and I have to look to it. We just, we just finished filming another video and we're like, yeah, let's do it right now. Yeah, that smells good. 54.5 ABV. So 109 proof. All right. Perfect. Perfect. It smells nice. It smells spicy. I I'll have to look more into the recipes of Four Roses. It smells see what. great, honestly. And it's a lot different than... Oh, it's a lot different than um, like, like the stag you brought down, yeah. stuff like that, because it's not deep and dark like yeah. that. A lot of their stuff is more 
rich and and, and fruity, creamy, vanillas, creamy. Very nice vanilla on the, type on thing. the nose here. Really, really nice. Now my 2019, I'll say though, it it's 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 very layered. Is it? It's very deep. It it actually goes into some tobacco and a few other things as well. I don't know if this one will or not. Smells awful fruity on the nose. Really, really, really nice and fruity. Not bright. It's like, you know, perfect. Yeah. This is like a quintessential kind of thing. Is it now? I, I think so. I, I like that vanilla flavor that you get from it. It's like creamy. Mm -hmm. Like you said, cream brulee. It kind of reminds me mm -hmm. a lot of that. You get caramel, you get vanilla, you get that oak. It's like, it's like a... Wild Turkey 101 on steroids. It, it doesn't have the Wild Turkey. No, but I know what you're Wild Turkey ness in it, but very nice flavors in there. Wow. I really, and this is what I've what I've grown accustomed to with the Four Roses limited editions. It's completely different than than Buffalo Trace and the Stag and things yeah. of that nature, <laughs> which is which is awesome in itself. It's got like a nice berry note in it. Like black beautiful. There's a beautiful something. fruit note in there. I'm going to take another yeah. sip, but it's a beautiful fruit note. Obviously, the vanillas you were talking about, the cream brulee. That's what stands out to me the most. Oh, is the vanillas. yes, very, it, and it's very viscous too. It's, yeah. it's a really nice sip. Yeah, it's like it's not too thick. It's not too thin. It coats the palate really nicely. You get those caramel vanilla quintessential bourbon flavors. To me, that's apricot. I'm struggling to find that, but I could I could see a berry kind of note. It's something um, like that. It, it's definitely fruity. I mean, it, it's it's a beautiful fruit note. Wow. And it really has it 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 does it's got it's got some caramel to it. It's got the fruit notes. It's got the cream brulee and the vanilla. To me, it does not go into the tobacco note like my 2019. Mm -hmm. If you tasted that, you'd understand where I'm coming from. You want to taste it real quick? Sure. Well, I don't. I don't need to, but you can. That it way almost you get has a little bit of the difference there. It almost has like a like a pie crust kind of thing going on, mm -hmm. or like a baking spice, cinnamony, allspice, cinnamon, beautiful cinnamon, the pie crust, excellent on your part there. Absolutely. I don't even like pie, so that's a big. That's a big one for me. Yeah, that, and I'm I'm really curious of what you're going to say about that one. 2019, yeah. Yeah. 2019. Yeah. And this is 112.6. A little bit higher. Mm -hmm. Oh, completely different nose. Mm -hmm. That's just all around different. Yeah. Do you have a like? Do you have a preference over which one you like better? You know, when it comes to these, no. Um, I guess that my mind doesn't work that way. I enjoy it separately for what yeah. it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. If it's that good, you yeah. know. Yeah, for me, I love. I really like them both. If you're going to push me to a decision, it's hard for me to. It's it's hard. It's hard. Hey, I'm not pushing anything, bro. But I mean, you know, I'm pushing myself. I guess yeah. in my brain. I really love this. I really do. I, there's a lot about it I love, but it's going to be really hard for me to finish that 2019. I think it's fabulous. I think once this opens up a little bit more, mm -hmm. the, I think the flavors are going to develop a lot nicer mm -hmm. and not that this 2019 is bad mm -hmm. i just think for me that like the bakery spices the cinnamon the the different types of mm -hmm. creaminess and everything that's going on in this bottle yeah i i would prefer a little bit better than this but we'll see with time if how that opens up and how that develops and i can understand time. that for your palate too yeah. is like can you, can you get my drift there with the, oh, the, the dark yeah. getting into that tobacco a little yeah. bit leathery kind, leather of, something, kind yeah. of stuff but it's but it's perfectly balanced yeah. too it is. It is. Don't get me wrong. I I drink this all day every day. But if I had to choose, this would be my go-to. Yeah, and I can understand why. Well, this has a lot. This has a lot to offer. And if it's going to be hard for you to finish this one, I'll just take this home. <laughs> no, and nah, get acquainted with the the Four Roses recipes. Uh, and you got a lot of stuff at home, pal. Yeah. But you're welcome to come over anytime and have a sip of it. How's Likewise, yeah. How's that? Yeah, sound? you can do the same. <laughs> very very complex though. I mean, both of them. Don't you think? Yeah. Both of them are very complex in their own way. Yeah, a I lot would. Of, a lot of stuff going on. There. I almost want to try this later, side by side with like the small batch select and the the small batch, and kind of see Good idea. what the 
what the the trilogy of those different yeah, if, things. If you'd like to see that in a video, let us yeah, know. Yeah, that'd be interesting because that see. would be a, an interesting dive into the Four Roses products. Yeah, and it might. I would hope that it would. I would do a little bit more research beforehand so I could get a little bit more familiar with the recipes and the Absolutely. different things that make Four sure. Roses so unique. Because there's no other distillery that I'm aware of that's doing that many recipes, and they do it very well. Like mm -hmm. there's the Kentucky Strong bottle that we had. Kent has still. It's like a berry explosion. And yes, it's a it 16 is. and a half year. It's yes, crazy. it is. It has a sip of his, and it, you are absolutely yeah. correct. A berry explosion is it's incredibly fruity. Um, I like it. I, I know in the comments, Trent, when we discuss Four Roses, there are some that, it's one of those, there, there are some, I wouldn't say it's a 50-50, but there are some that just don't like it. And I can understand why. Yeah. I, I can understand that. Um, but there's a lot of people that, that do really love it quite a bit. Yeah. Brent, Brent Elliott's doing a fantastic job at, at Four Roses. He's he's crushing it over there, and I think this is this is so good. Yeah, that's that's the crown jewel for this yeah. year for Four Roses. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, for sure. Lovely. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that sharing that moment with us. Uh, this is this was something I've personally been looking forward to all year. All year. I know Trent's got a fistful of things he's been looking for, but this is the one I really wanted to put up in the bar because yeah, that bottle's just getting a little too low. I was getting sad. Yeah. At least you got a nice backup once <laughs> you finish that. I'm good. That's going to be yeah. a good couple, two or three years there to get <laughs> sipping on that a little bit for special occasions and stuff. So right. it's going to be great. Thanks so much for watching. Boy, we appreciate all of you. And that's just the fact. We really, really do. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. And we'll see you next time right down here with Trent and I in the good old basement bourbon bar. See you later. <laughs>